The conversation around Eugenia Cooney seems to now always come down to one argument, whether or not she should be deplatformed, whether she should be allowed to exist on YouTube and posting photos of herself on Instagram, or whether she should be removed from social media entirely. What's crack, it's Evangelina Skov, and today we are gonna be talking about Eugenia Cooney. And this video is gonna be a little bit different than my last video because this video is entirely me going to be giving you my opinion and thinking on things. Because I feel like people tend to misunderstand me a lot of the time, especially in my videos, because I do like to look at everybody's argument for things and everybody's side and that's kind of what I tend to present in videos. Maybe not all the time, but a lot of the time I'm trying to say, hey, well, what would be the reason for thinking this? And what would be the reason for thinking the other thing? So I sort of explored in my last video, talking about Eugenia, why people think she should be removed from the internet, why she should be deplatformed. And I think because I do that, actually, no, I know because I do that, in this situation, in any situation, people will just kind of assume what I think without me actually telling them. And sometimes they agree and sometimes they don't. And sometimes, I agree and sometimes I don't. So I just kind of want to talk a bit about my thinking behind whether or not she should be deplatformed, removed from YouTube, removed from Instagram, the lot. Before we get into that though, if you feel like it, you can subscribe. Uh, if you've already watched a couple of videos before now and you haven't subscribed, I mean, maybe now is the time. You can also check if you have been unsubscribed by YouTube because they like to do that for some reason. Just check, just check, just do me a favor. I know you're thinking, but I'm definitely subscribed. Do me a favor. Just check, thank you. So here's the thing. The question around whether she should be removed is very complicated. It is complicated and there's no right answer. And I am open to being told that my opinions are wrong. I'm fine with that. And I know a lot of people are gonna disagree with me no matter what I say, no matter which side of the fence I'm on, somebody's gonna disagree with me and somebody's angrily going to disagree with me. So I, I ask you, to treat this as a conversation. Pretend I'm sitting in front of you as a real life, actual human being, because you may forget <laughs> you and I, we are both real life, actual human beings, and we could conduct ourselves with a little bit more tact. <laughs> I didn't mean that to sound as condescending as it came out. It just did come out condescending. But my point is just that this is a conversation. I could be wrong. My opinions and my thoughts and my feelings could be wrong. And also, your opinions and thoughts and feelings could be wrong. So let's just talk it out. I'm just gonna tell you what I think. And what I think is that it's complicated and straight out, I don't agree that she should be removed. And I know immediately a lot of people are gonna be very angry at me for that because I think the main opinion among the commentary community is that she should be removed. And the thing about the commentary community is, is if you stray a little bit, people seem to think that, that like there's some huge problem and I'm not trying to make any kind of huge problem. I just, I don't think it's fair for me or you or anybody to decide, hey, this person should be removed from social media. And I get the arguments as to why she should be removed and I'm gonna get into that a little bit, but think of it this way. If you saw Eugenia on the street, you saw her on the street, it was triggering for you. Can you tell her not to go out in the street? Like, I know it's not the same thing and I do understand that there's nuance, but you know, it's like, you can't just tell somebody um, looking at you is just terrible and awful. You must never leave your house again. You know, it's, it's similar, it's not the same, but it's similar in idea. I do think that she needs help. I do think what she's doing is not healthy. And I do think that in the process, seeing her could be problematic for some people. However, oh God, I'm just gonna make everybody mad at me with this video. Okay, I'm gonna say some things that people don't like to be said. And again, if you have some valid arguments as to why I'm wrong and you wanna convey those respectfully, I will obviously listen to you. And maybe I am wrong. One of the biggest arguments that people make is that she has a very young and impressionable fan base who will see her and look at her and go, that's who I wanna be. And I understand that and I understand that that is a thing. I'm not denying that that's a thing. But does that mean then in turn that it is, is removing her gonna fix the problem? No, it's not. It's not gonna fix the problem. And I know you can say, well, you know, it's, you know, it's accessible. She's pushed on the trending page and 
yeah, that is a whole separate issue, her being pushed on the trending page. Um, and oh, people will come across it and then just see it. But if they don't see that, they're gonna see something else. I mean, there's this TikToker that comes up all the time on my For You page. Um, I was gonna say I could find her and put a clip in, but that's a bad idea. Why would I do that? <laughs> her videos are her standing, basically. Or she like turns to the side and shows her outfit and she is very, very thin. Like clearly there's a problem there. People are gonna find that TikToker. People are gonna find other TikTokers. People are gonna find other YouTubers, other celebrities. I mean, when I was on the internet, whole big thing was Mary-Kate Olsen. Like that was all the pictures everywhere. It was, oh my God, Mary-Kate Olsen. Did we tell Mary-Kate Olsen to leave? No, she left herself. She said, bye, I've had enough of this. The other thing is, and here's what I mean when I say people aren't gonna like me saying this, because I know it is not that easy and I know that's not always how it works. However, I do think if you are worried about children, I do think that removing the person is not gonna solve the problem because for one, they'll find other outlets and for two, please don't scream at me. It is the parents' responsibility to be monitoring what their children are watching online. It is, and we say that for other creators, we say it for gaming channels, we say it for Jacksepticeye, because people had complained in the past that he swears too much and he, he plays violent games and oh, what if the kids are watching? And we all said, it is the parents' responsibility to make sure that they're not watching Jacksepticeye, the kids are not watching Jacksepticeye, if the parents don't want them to be. And it is the parents' responsibility to then make sure that their kids are not watching content like Eugenia's if they don't want them watching content like Eugenia's. And I know it's not that simple, and I know not always maybe kids don't have the best parents, or the parents are busy and they can't watch everything, or the parents don't know and they don't understand, and I get that. But either way, you can't put all that responsibility on one person, especially when the argument can be made for some people and not for others. And I do want to think a moment about the human behind the videos. I know the argument is, okay, lots and lots of people are watching her content and are being affected by it, but let's think about what would happen to Eugenia if she was removed from YouTube and if she was removed from social media in general. She has been doing social media since she was a teenager. She has been doing it for years. That's all she knows. I don't know if she has any friends. I genuinely don't. She did have friends. She cut ties with them. And now all I see on her Instagram stories are her on her own or her with her mum. And obviously there's a, you know, there's a Panasonic, <laughs> it's different. But she did cut ties with her friends group, a friend group. And all she knows is YouTube and Twitch and all that and interacting with her fan base. If she was removed entirely, I think that would make her worse. <laughs> I genuinely think it would make her worse. And also what's to stop her from making new accounts? My washing machine is going crazy. So I'm gonna end this up soon. I understand there is nuance to this. My whole point is not that, you know, I am a God and I decide what's right. My point is that I'm not a God and I don't decide what's right. You are not a God and you don't decide what's right. It is a much more complex situation. Now, <sighs> There are questions of should her content be age restricted? And I think that's, although I don't fully agree with it, I can understand it. And I think somebody could probably convince me that that would be the right step to take. And if YouTube did decide to age restrict her content, it would make sense and I would get that. If they decided to age restrict her and stop putting her on the trending tab, okay, that makes sense. But removing her from the internet entirely, doesn't. I just don't like that everybody says, I don't agree with cancel culture, except there's always an exception. It's either you agree with it or you don't. And I, again, I know there's nuance, but I just personally don't think she should be removed for being ill. Maybe it's because I don't believe that she is willingly promoting this stuff to people and other people do. Maybe that's the difference, but I just don't. I don't think she's promoting stuff on purpose. I don't think somebody should be removed from being sick and needing help. Anyway, my washing machine has taken over the entire party. So I am going to leave now. I'm gonna end this video. Again, this is a conversation. If you don't agree with me, you can tell me nicely. You can tell me your reasons for not agreeing. If you do agree, you can tell me nicely. <laughs> and again, I accept I could be wrong. This is just my thinking now and my thinking could change. My opinions do change on things. I am a person and opinions change, but for now, that's just where I stand on it. And I do think, like I said in my previous video, that sending her a lot of hate isn't going to help. So please don't do that. Please don't send anybody hate. Anybody, thanks. Uh, that's gonna be it for me for now. Like, comment, share, follow, subscribe, social media, bibbidi-bobbidi-boo. Have a wonderful day. 
I've seen, I think I'm, a, I'm just, bleh. <laughs> my brain died. Okay, bye.